Hey, good morning. This is Julie Fair with the Waxhatchee Chamber of Commerce. And joining me today is Mr. Rick Bowles with... Nelson University. Nelson University, previously known as... Southwestern Assemblies of God University, or SAGU. Yes. So that's what we want to talk about today. Get, you know, let you, let you guys out there know, some of you have heard little whispers that uh, SAGU name is changing, and it's true. Has it officially changed, or is it still in the changing? Yes, it is officially changed. Okay. So we are now in Nelson University. Most of the, the signage on the campus has changed. That'll be a process. You know, it won't happen overnight. Mm-hmm. Our emails have changed. Our logo has changed. Our website, it'll take a little bit longer because there's a lot of, of work to do when you're changing domains, yeah. which uh, that's part of my responsibility, the rebranding. And I had no idea it would take as long and just the, the details, uh-huh. you know, you, you think, oh, I can just change the name, right? But it doesn't work that way in the in the. This affects website this world. and this affects yeah. this. Yeah. So probably, you know, we hope by October to have uh, Nelson.edu on our website. We're redoing the whole website. So it's a process, but it's it's been uh, fun. Uh, the city is working great with us and helping us change the signage here in the city. Mm-hmm. And TextDot is working with us on some of the signage out uh, on 35 and, and 287. Yeah, and that's the other thing. Like when we moved the chamber, you forget those signs that point. Right. Well, I did. We did. We forgot about the signs, and somebody said, the chamber doesn't point that way anymore. We said, oh, good grief, there's yeah. so many things. And that's just our little spot. So sure. So y'all have a lot. There's a lot. And, you know, of course, I've been working on this for four years mm-hmm. with the president and the other uh, cabinet members. So it feels like it's taken a long time. And then if you put a, a post out, say, on Facebook that, hey, we're – considering changing well then all of a sudden you know the alumni is like what's going on yeah. it's the first response they have and in social media we just kind of spit things out right we don't mm-hmm. think about them so right. you've had some uh pushback a little bit and you've had a lot of questions and then the marketing team uh has done a great job in trying to communicate uh even our website has a lot of videos it has a lot of details on the name change why you know mm-hmm. the faqs why we're doing it we have a lot of reasons but 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 part of it is, uh, we, you know, Southwestern Assemblies of God University is, is hard to say. It's a long. Mm-hmm. Uh, we wanted to reduce that. Um, also, you know, we're, we are a Christian university. We're not a Bible college. We, we do have uh, many degrees that focus on church ministry, leadership, worship, right. missions, all those things. But we also have many degrees that are counseling uh, criminal justice kinesiology Kinesi- we just added kinesiology and that's going great we we have uh t- our teaching program is yeah. incredible the wisd and, and others around here uh these students get hired before they're really technically graduating i mean they're ready to go as soon as they're they get their degree mm-hmm. and so we're, we're excited about those but we're also looking to add new degrees and part of that is to find out what students want today what is it what area of work careers are you wanting to go in so we're trying to be mindful of that number of reasons why we're changing our name we want to grow we want to uh, make sure that uh, those who are not part of our church denomination feel welcome to Mm -hmm. to attend here and uh, over 50 percent of our students currently do not affiliate with our church denomination and there's a lot of variety there so uh we just want to we need to grow the university and this is just one part of the vision of doing that and so it is very exciting i had a professor come into my office yesterday who's been here 19 years he oversees our digital arts digital media arts which is another incredible program uh that we have and he said i just for the first time in a long time, just there's a new, renewed excitement for mm-hmm. the, the university. And sometimes change is needed. Yeah. And sometimes kind of a radical change is needed. And uh, so that's where we're at. Yeah. Well, good. And, you know, if, if people haven't been over, if you're just tuning in, we're talking with previously known SAGU to uh, Nelson University with Rick Bowles. And um, I really, your fine arts department, oh my goodness, you know, I've taken tours over there and the green, those green screen rooms mm-hmm. and the pianos and all the like, recording stuff. Mm-hmm. That stuff is, I mean, that's pretty impressive. Well, it's, it's a career choice that's needed out there. There's a lot of, I mean, even in the church to, to learn how to, to do the audio visual in the church, mm-hmm. so that's big right now. But outside that, we have some people who are 
producers for NBC, right. people that work in Disney. So they, you can go in a lot of different directions with that degree as well. And coming in the fall of 2025, we are we're changing that degree program up a little bit. There's going to be two separate degrees out of out of that program. And uh, I don't have all the details on it, but it's you have to stay up with the need, basically. Yeah. So that's, that's what cool. we're doing. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. So um, what's speaking of, what's happening in the fall? When does school start back up? So school starts on September 2nd. I believe it's Labor Day, actually. Okay. I think that's the 2nd. So first week of September. And uh, students will start arriving on August 30th. Our athletes get here a, a couple of weeks ahead of time so they can start practicing. Uh, but, yeah, it's it's our 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 on-campus, what we call residents, uh, those who stay in the dorms, that number is up. So we're very excited about that. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of the areas that we need to continue to improve on is our online. And so that's a focus that we're also uh, making people aware of. A lot of people don't realize that, you know, if you're working full time and you decide, hey, I want to finish my degree or you want to go back and get a, a graduate degree, what have you. Uh, online education is easy, it's affordable, and the degrees that we have on campus are also available online. Wow, that's good to know. Yeah. So, you know, um, in fact, you can actually, if you have the time and, and, and you can work fast, you can get an MBA with us in 12 months. I got mine in 16 months working yeah. really hard. Yeah. So <laughs> that's real. That's yeah, impressive. Yes. Uh, 12, 24, 36 months. You have those options. Mm -hmm. You can actually take and, and I just I, I decided to go back and get my master's and yeah. I did last year and did it online while I was working full time, obviously. But um, you can take two classes in the same semester. And it's you know, that's one thing. But then you can you can actually in one semester split it up so you take one class and another class mm -hmm. and it, that's how you do it quicker right. you know uh now, now get shorten, ready for shorten the the <laughs> the hours that it takes get ready to stay up late <laughs> yes. and not get much well late. sure it's a challenge um, my wife completed her undergraduate degree last year as well online and uh you know she came from home from work and did work but it's not forever and if you have a goal and you have a desire to get it done, then you can do it. But, I like the short time period because mm -hmm. it's like you can do anything for a certain period of time. And if you know you can knock yeah. that out in that period of time, sure. you can you can lose sleep and work a little harder for a uh, minute. That's right. And and also, because we are talking to the Waxhachie Ellis County community, we do have commuters. We have a number of commuters uh, mm -hmm. who live in this area who don't stay in the dorms, and uh, they're college age students, typical college college age students, and so we have that option as well. Come in for classes and, and go home uh, in the evenings. I've heard you have some excellent meals uh, there. That y'all have some y'all have some really good food served in that area. We, or we, you're in the cafeteria. We have a new uh, provider who's actually, their name is Provider, uh -huh. which is fun oh, to talk about. <laughs> Our provider is Provider. <laughs> but uh, they're a great organization, and they've been with us now. I think this is their third year. And we have, people may not know this, but we have an Einstein's on, on campus. So if you like bagels. Oh, why'd you remind me of that? And, and I and forget so, about it. But, <laughs> but they run that. We have... Uh, in our uh, student union, we have so we have three different areas that students can get food. Mm -hmm. Some of it can walk in, grab and go. Some of it they can go into the we call it the calf. They can go to the calf. Um, also, we've moved our bookstore. Our bookstore was across the street. Oh yeah, from uh, twelve hundred Sycamore, and we've moved that into the Schaefer Activity Center where we have our calf, we have our auditorium, and we have our gymnasium. And we moved it into there, and it's just going to be a lot easier for yeah. students. And then we have a little C store, convenience store, now in that area as well. Just C to, store, yeah. You got, you got to come up with the the right name. That sounds be much cooler cool. than cafeteria. That's right. That's right. <laughs> so uh, it's just a few of those changes. And yeah. then the, some people may not know either, uh, but last year ago, August, we put in a new turf football, soccer field, a track field and uh right there by our baseball and softball mm -hmm. fields and so we're excited about that and we're about to finish up phase one which is a brand new entryway into that we're actually uh into that process right now that'll be finished by the time students uh get here in august so it's just a beautification of that area there gates entryway for tickets uh we have a big 
bronze lion statue wow. because that is our mascot that's mm-hmm. moved permanently into into that area and it'll be a really nice place are your colors going to stay the same we, to 